So just like me, you just got a Katana Gen 3. You fired up the mobile app with the Bluetooth adapter and it tells you that your firmware is out of date and you need to update it. Well, guess what? You can't do it from your phone. So you got to do it from the PC and it's not that complicated. So let's get to it. First thing you want to do is go to updates and drivers, find your corresponding model. I, I bet they're pretty much all the same. You could pretty much download any of the Gen 3 ones, but I would say stick with your model. So I want to download the system program, Boss Tone Studio, and the driver for Windows 11. Anyway, let's start with the driver. Download file. We're just going to go ahead and download all three of them for first. Tone Studio, I'm going to get that ready. And lastly, the system program. This is the firmware that we need to update. So once you have them downloaded, go ahead and extract them all. Just extract them to the same folder. See it created a new folder right there. Let's go ahead and delete the zip drop zip folders and let's go ahead and install the driver once you've got the driver installed let's start working on the firmware now we're going to put it on standby reverb button power on now, if you have the latest version, you're going to have a green light here. These two will be dark. This one will be green and this one will be red. So we don't have the latest versions. So let's install the latest version. Now that we know what version of firmware we have and we know we need to upgrade, we're going to turn the master all the way down and we are going to hold tap and push the power on. You're going to see the blinking lights there. You're going to take your USB cable and plug your USB-C cable into the USB-C port on the back of the amp and your computer might make a ding sound. Back over on your computer, open up this PC, you'll see Katana 3. You wanna open that up. Now over on your system files, the Katana 3 system version 106, open that up. Open that folder up, do not copy the folder over here. We're gonna take these two files right here and we're gonna drag them and drop them over here, it's going to copy to the Katana 3. Now that they're copied, go back over here and press eject. So it's going to eject the Katana. Disconnect the USB cable. And it'll automatically start updating. And as you can see, it's going to go through these and then it'll go green. And once it goes green, you are finished updating. Power it off. And now we're going to turn it back on. And we're going to go back over to the computer and install the new Tone Studio. Back over on the computer, navigate back to the BTS folder, find Boss Tone Studio for Katana Gen 3, double click that, go through the motions, install it, launch Boss Tone Studio, it's going to look like this because I didn't have the USB cable reconnect. So reconnect your USB cable, it doesn't matter if it's on or off. Your computer will make a little big sound and Katana 3 will show up there. And now your Katana is updated and you got the latest version of Tone Studio for Gen 3. 